everyone. Welcome to In the Psychic Flow. I'm your host, Carol Ann Carey. It's wonderful to be here with you tonight. Thank you for joining me. We do have a wonderful guest this evening that I so enjoy working with, and that is Kelly Jo Psychic. She is here with us tonight, and she's going to take uh, a question. So if you have a, one question about either love, career, uh, romance, money, new car, job, moving, uh, anything about the paranormal, any experience that you've had or anything that you would like to ask Kelly Joe. She has a tremendous amount of experience, paranormal, pet communicator, spirit medium, psychic extraordinaire. So anything that you uh, have a particular question of, this is your chance to get it from the master, as far as I'm concerned. Kelly Joe oh. has a, an unstoppable amount of uh, talent and ability and she's real and she's very funny and i always enjoy working with her and uh so we're gonna do that tonight i have one little thing i want to read to you i'm still celebrating valentine's day i don't know why it just seems like the right thing to do can't get enough love right so i have a quick little thing here i'm gonna read and then we will uh talk with kelly joe let's see this is a prayer for saint valentine's day God bless you on this special day. God keep you in his air and may his blessing and his love be with you everywhere. Okay. I just thought that and I really thought it was heartfelt and I loved it. Hi, Kavita. We have uh, three super stickers with us for this evening and we will get to them first. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, please like and share and subscribe. That's a great way to help us. All the stations appreciate, all the uh, radio show hosts appreciate that. Radio, video show hosts. And uh, if you're watching on Rumble, you can give us a rant or you can make a contribution to this show through my Venmo, which is carolann-carey, C-A-R-O-L-A-N-C-A-R-E-Y. On YouTube, you can do a super sticker. And uh, let's see, and tips are going to go to Kelly Jo for hard work this evening. So we do that. And let's see what else. And you can watch the show on replay on BitChute. And we are on several audio platforms, as you probably know, iHeartRadio, Google Play, Spotify, all of those. So if you're watching tonight, I will read out any validation that we receive. And uh, that's it. So that you know that we are making connection here. So let's say hello to everybody. Let's say hello, Kelly Joe. Thanks for being with us. Hello. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's great to have you with us. And uh, how did you make out? Did you do, um, if you did a fair, the last time you were here, you were talking about doing an uh, in-person. Yeah. Fair. I, I think did. that was um, Mel Naples, right? Melbourne. Oh, Melbourne. It was okay. It, yeah, it was okay. Good. Good. Uh, do you have one. any more coming up? The next one's going to be March 18th for one day in Naples. And I'll oh, be great. the person there. So that'll be, that'll be a lot of fun. I, I hope Good. that comes up to see us. Well, if you're in the Naples area, please check out uh, Kelly Joe And her website is kellyjoepsychic.com. And I am, some- I am ahead, Kelly jo. available for readings privately. You can reach me at my website, kellyjoepsychic.com, or call me at 561-333-5367. Thank you, Kelly Joe. Thank you for that. Okay, so let's see uh, what we have here. Tatiana. Hi, Tatiana. How are you? Hi, Kavita. Uh, Our first person up is Robert, and he has a question, which I'm so glad. Let's see. And I think he said, let me just get to it. Hold on, Robert. I think he was asking about love. Let me see if I can find his question. Will I have a relationship anytime soon, Robert Myers? Yes. Yes. You've got an opening. It looks like in the summertime. It's June, July, or August. Um, And you'll have a choice of two. It looks like a blonde-haired lady. And she's petite and tiny and like five foot one. And then there's another lady that's like 5'7", auburn hair, divorced. I don't know if he wants kids or not, but it feels like this lady has two 
uh, teenage kids, and they're good kids. So he has a choice of two. And she's been divorced for a long, long time. So each are, he'll choose from each, and each is ready to have a relationship. Wow. How's that, Robert? Does that make you happy to hear that? Uh, our super sticker people, I'm going to pull a card from our Goldilocks production super oracle card deck as this okay so for each one of the super stickers i will pull that and let me pull one for i have been shuffling them let me pull one for robert and let's see what we get uh let's see shine your authentic light gala wrote that Shine your authentic light, Robert, and I think you will find the relationships that you are looking for. Beautiful. <laughs> thank you, Kelly Joe, for that. So we got that. Uh, thank you, Robert, for joining us and for your super sticker. The next one that we have uh, is Carol, and she says, romance question. <laughs> I've been talking about it with her. I guess she's curious. I see. A chance that someone that she's acquainted from the past coming back into her life. Mm -hmm. And it's somebody right. that she knows. And, it, and I'm hearing the word hometown. Oh. Okay. What does so he look like? Right now? I, he's like 5'11". Um, he used to have dark hair but everybody has white hair nowadays thick thick hair um square jawline and he has really pretty corn blue eyes oh i wasn't too far off base then i'm glad to hear that <laughs> i had said uh silver haired and athletic build and tallish yeah so that's he's good. fit okay oh and he's fit oh great that's what i had said to her there you go, Carol. What do you think of that, huh? Let me pull you a card. And uh, here we go. Here's a good one. Uh, balance, equilibrium, and harmony with universal life energy. And that, Reverend, uh, Reverend Tiffany Sage Woman wrote that. So there you go. That's the Oracle card for you, Carol. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. You are super duper. I need if you to, have other questions, I'm sorry, go ahead, Kelly. Go. I need to add that she's finally open and ready. Okay. She wasn't before. She wasn't before. Okay. So there you go. And if you think of another question, if we can get to it, we will. Okay. So we got to Robert, we got to Carol, and now we are on to Nancy. Let me see if I have her. Nancy Ramsey. Hi, Kelly Joe. Do you see me moving to Oklahoma this year? And if so, when? Oklahoma. End of August, beginning of September. August, beginning of September. Okay. All right. I got pulled a card for you, Nancy. And it says, you have magic within you. And that was written by Robert, um, Robert, Robin McGuire, Cosmic Soul, Robin's Cosmic Soul. And she is on um, Tuesday nights. Yeah, Tuesday nights, 8 o'clock. Thank you for joining us, Nancy. I hope that that answered your question. And uh, is this a good move for her, Kelly Joe? the Oklahoma thing? Yeah, but she has to watch out for either her land or somebody else's land close to her being in a floodplain. So yes, flood. yeah, flood. Okay. Flooding. Flooding. Okay. So watch out for that. Okay, Nance. And let's see, we have some new comments. Uh, Carol says, thank you very much. Robert says, thanks, Kelly, Joe and Carol Ann. And he said, uh, it sounds very hopeful. So he's very happy about that. And let's see, we got Nancy. Let's see who else we have here. So we got our super sticker people. Let's see who else we have this evening. Thank you all for joining us. I think Tatiana is next. And I think she was asking, 
Uh, let's see. Was she asking about romance? Let's see. Oh, Tatiana says, recently moved to a new state and hoping for meeting new relationship in my new area. Yes. She will meet the person out and about. And it'll be like uh, out of the blue. <coughs> like it, it'll happen quickly. Okay. Do we have an idea of what he, he might look like? He or something? like he, yes. He feels like he's like six foot four, blonde hair, brown eyes. Um, it does what he says and says what he does. He works hard for a living because he has callous hands and he wears steel boots. Okay. Steel toed boots. Oh, Nancy says, um, uh, her Phoebe, hi, Kim Smith, how are you? Nancy Ramsey says, wow, my apartment here in Oregon flooded out twice. So you'll have to look out for that when you move. Yes. I'm, I'm sure you will after that's happened to you a couple of times. Okay, let me see what Tatiana has to say here. Uh, we didn't get any feedback on that yet, but we will. Sugar Kim is here with us. And... Let me see. Okay, so we got Robert, we got Tatiana, we got Carol. Ah, oh, Ruth Saltman is joining us tonight. Uh, let's see. Do you have a question, Ruth? Let's see if she has a question. Once again, uh, Kelly Joe's website is kellyjoepsychic.com, available for private readings. Kavita is here dealing with, uh, talking to us tonight. Let's see. And let's see. Do you have anything for Ruth? Selena. Mm. Well, Ruth has so many things going at once. She does need to rest more and she will get everything accomplished. And she has what three businesses yes because i think well she's got quite a bit yes yeah i'm seeing three things going at once and then she she needs the right i know i tell her this every time i talk to her so either journal or, or write a book so that's important because she has a lot of things to teach she's a natural born teacher yes she is yeah how about romance for her? I keep seeing a gentleman for her. I see a man that's like four years older than her. He talks funny. He's from another country. Okay. Um, sharp dresser. Very sharp. He still wears cuff links when he wears a shirt. Um, she'll meet him through one of her functions. And it looks like it's going to start off slow as a friendship and then it'll bloom into romance. And it feels like her first meeting with him will be like springtime, you know, like March, April. Okay. Wow. And he by locates. He's like in another country in here. Okay. Thank you for that, Kelly Joe. Uh, we also have Selena. Thank you for joining us, Selena. Uh, do, she, do you see anything coming up for Selena? I feel all happy when I pick up on her. She's going to have so many new opportunities. She's not going to know what to do first. Joy, happiness, um, travel. Hmm. Now, who's does she have a, a person in her life? Because I'm seeing a giant L around a man, the the letter L, like initial. Okay, I didn't get that yet, but when I get it, I will let you know. Let's see. Uh, Kavita has to step away. We'd love a message uh, about the man that I always see for her. Anything on him? Uh, As always. We're always asking. Well, he's him. like uh, dishwater blonde hair, straight. 
He has green eyes. He's tall and thin. Very musical. He, he, he plays music. Um, he's, on, he's an entrepreneur. And he's like, he loves to travel like she does. So they'll be a great pair. Okay, great. Thank you so much for that. And Kavita will check back uh, and listen to the replay. Uh, Selena says she is not attached. So that's good. Good. So you got someone coming into your life, Selena. Yep. So that'll, that'll be great. Okay. And we have... Kim Smith. Where is she off to? I see like a plane ride. A plane ride? Yeah. I don't know. I see she plane travels ride. quite a bit. Yeah, I see her going somewhere. Does she do talks all over? Does she do what? Talks. Uh, she she has a business that she's been promoting, and she's been driving by, I believe, driving. Okay, but I see her getting flown to, okay. get to do a talk. Okay. Great. Uh, let's see what else we have. Samir is here. Sam Sam. His name is Samir. And Ruth Saltman says, thank you, ladies, very much. Um uh, Samir doesn't have a question, but if you have something for him, that would be nice. Well, there is a business opportunity coming up for him. Um, it, it feels like a, a friend that he's known a long time and he can trust. So he can do that if he wants. Now, is he thinking of moving? Because there's a move. Um, like in travel or? No, physical moving. Oh, moving. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. We'll find out. There, so there's an opportunity for that is what you're saying? Yeah. And he would go more west. Okay. Great. He says he's not planning to move, but you never know. Uh, let's see. Who else did we miss? You never yeah. know. The move is due to opportunities. Oh, the move is due to opportunity there. You never know. Oh, uh, let's see. Who else do we have? Let me see who I missed. Carol had said thank you very much. And I think that's it. We have a relationship anytime soon. We know Oklahoma. We have that. Uh, also, let's put in our website for Spreadshirt for our Goldilocks Productions cards, Oracle cards, and other items as well. If we could put that website up for us, Tiffany, that would be great. I'll read it out. So you can shop on there for gifts to support Goldilocks Productions and your individual favorite show hosts. Let me see what else we have. Uh, let's see. We'll see as, as more people, whoop, we got more comments. Uh, let's see. Everybody's talking to each other on here, so I'm trying to. Um, oh, here it is. Oracle Cards uh, is shopspreadshirt.com, Goldilocks Productions. Goldilocks with a Y. Please check that out. The uh, Oracle cards are at makeplayingcards.com, Goldilocks Productions. You can check that out and purchase. We have T-shirts, mugs, travel, bottles, mm -hmm. uh, mouse pads, sweatshirts, hoodies, all kinds of stuff with the logo for each show. Each show has their own logo, courtesy of Reverend Tiffany. And so if you'd like to check those out, please do. They even have dog bandanas on there for your pup. So if you'd like to uh, purchase that, it's always a great way. And they also have stickers, like if you want to put on your computer or a notebook, uh, the logo on a notebook or something, that would be great. Okay. So let's talk. Let's do some talking here since I have you and we'll pick your brain. Um, 
what do you think is the, for people who are learning or just new to this kind of psychic stuff, since you're a natural, it's kind of hard, I would guess, but what, what is the most important thing that you for, feel to encourage them? I always say a prayer of protection before you do anything of some kind, whatever you believe in, you know, the highest light prayer, white light prayer, whatever, you know, it's always important and trust your gut. Usually when your gut talks to you, it isn't the chatter voice, it's the whisper voice. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you want to hone your skills, you can just take a deck of playing cards and see if you can predict the black and the red. You know, oh, okay. and, and do that. And then as you progress, you can work on kings, queens, jacks, and uh King, Queen, Jack. What was the other one? <laughs> King, Queens, and Jack. You can tell. Yeah, I think that's it. Hair, brown hair, you know, blonde hair. Mm -hmm. And you can get uh, regular playing cards on makingplayingcards.com from Goldilocks. We also sell those, which are really cool. They are see-through, except that you can't see the, the card that it is. But most of the card is see-through. It's really, really cool. So please check Neat. those out. Yeah. And uh, so you might enjoy that. Uh, Kim Smith says, I am excited to fly anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you are going anywhere. You're going to go away. <laughs> yeah, that is great. Yeah, she's, um, she's a traveler. It's very, very interesting. Uh, what she is doing, she has a business called CBD Delights. I forgot to mention that last last month, uh, last week. And uh, so she's promoting that and she's traveling around. And so I'm very happy for her. And I had seen romance for her as well. I've seen romance for quite a few people here. I hope it happens. What is the delay? You know, when I see something, let me ask you this. So, like I saw somebody totally different for someone. Does that mean more than one person right. for them? Right, because there's myriads of possibilities. And it's yeah. like people ask you when you do reading, well, why didn't it happen? Well, I'm not trying to be right, but you changed or they changed and, you know, stuff happens and you're you're not the same person you were when you got a reading. And then right. nothing's written in concrete, people. Things change. It's sort of like um, that moment as you're reading, this is what you're getting that page that day. Now, you could change your direction, like maybe not move to that state. Right. Or he could not move to that state. Right. You know? So, but, you know, if it's destined, maybe. Right. Because um, if energy keeps going the way it's going, this is what could happen. Okay. Good point. Thank you very much. Uh, we have Elizabeth Urschel. Uh, with us this evening. She's just joined us and she would love a message if time. And I think her question is love. Does she know an Eric? I hear the name Eric. Okay. So she's going to meet an Eric and he'll be exactly her age, have a lot in common. He's spiritual. Um, he doesn't talk much, but he's more of an observer well-respected, honorable, um, and they'll get along really good. And he's, he's very thoughtful, very kind. Oh, nice. So that's what I'm seeing. And they fit together like an old pair of slippers. <laughs> Great. Good, Elizabeth. Good news for you. I'm happy for you. And he's 5'11". She wants to know what he looks like. I know that. He's like 5'11". He has a little bald spot right here. But he has hair everywhere else. He does wear glasses. Um, he has like a rectangly face. And he's handsome. And he's... Um, He's not a jock, but he's he's fit. He's he's 
he like rides his bike and he walks and loves to take nature walks. So I see them as time progresses taking walks. Very nice. Um, interesting. I was just, as you were talking, I was just seeing two swans. So I think that, you know, how they're made it for life kind of, yeah. thing. you know, yeah. that's what I get. Nice. And, he, and I think that they'll be by located because he lives like way up in the East Coast somewhere like Vermont, Rhode Island, up that way. Okay. I'm not sure where Elizabeth lives, but um, maybe she'll put it in the comments. If you have anything else that you want to ask Kelly Jo while we're doing some readings here tonight, uh, please feel free to drop a comment or validation in the comment section. I will read them out. And, and I go ahead. I have a farmer here. He's six foot, blonde hair, glasses, uh, square jawline with a dimpled chin. And he has like bl light blue eyes. And he belongs to somebody. I don't know who he belongs to. I'll take him. Okay. <laughs> Is he your your fella? No, I, I'm your... kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, okay. But you got a chance to meet somebody too, Carolyn. Yes, I would have to leave the house though. Not necessarily. <laughs> It could be a worker or something. I don't know. I'm just saying. He will come to your house. Oh, God. Well, hey. <laughs> I guess I'll get caught out, right? Huh? I guess I'll get caught out. You'll get um, caught out? What's that mean? I guess that I can't hide forever is what I'm saying. No, no. Okay. Oh, Elizabeth said, I thought she was married, but I wasn't sure. She said, thanks for the reading. I am married. And she responded, Queen Elizabeth. I don't know why she said that. Haha. <laughs> but I am from Rhode Island. Oh, okay. Okay. She said, maybe he'll be a boyfriend on the side. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry about that, Elizabeth. Well, in case you can always tell your husband, you know, you better shape up, Belle, because, you know, I have, an, I have somebody else on the horizon. That's a possibility. So you better enjoy well, me. With this you. person could be a work husband. Oh. I am Queen, Queen yeah, Elizabeth. Yeah, she's married. Taking the job. Okay. Oh, she lives in Sarasota. I didn't realize that. How about that? Okay. Cool. Very nice. I don't get the Queen Elizabeth thing, but that's okay. She says she's Queen Elizabeth at her painting job. Yeah, I don't know what that means. She's the queen. Everybody goes to her, I guess. Oh, okay. I get it now. I got it. So that we'll look for Eric. Okay. Um, when you are, does anyone have any paranormal questions? Because I would like to ask a couple of those of Kelly Joe, because I always find that fascinating. That is not up my street much. Um, I have done some ghost tours. Uh, I have led a ghost tour small groups uh, and i did see things oh elizabeth shares that she says it's so my customers remember my name she must have a, a painting business or something and so oh, that they remember her name oh okay she calls her queen elizabeth so okay got it got it okay. dear okay queenie um when you are, are people experiencing in your opinion are people experiencing more paranormal stuff with all the changes that are going on right now? I want to say yes. And it goes in cycles. So. Because yeah. Well, you know what I'm seeing? Um, you know, we had that terrible earthquake in Turkey and Syria. Yes. And uh, I can just see souls... Um, leaving like going upward you know right. i can just see them going and i feel like um other people see them too yes absolutely it's a very very sad situation there 
Um, Elizabeth says she's an instructor at painting with a twist. So she's an artist type of painting. Okay, got it. Thank you, Elizabeth, for explaining all that. Because I wasn't getting it. I'm a little <laughs> not getting it. I thought painting like rooms or houses or something. Uh, she's And she said, thank you so much for the reading. Okay. If um, your paranormal experiences... Do you have more, did you have more of those in your career? You worked more paranormal initially, right? Than mediumship. Um, I think equally, you know, somehow people would get my name and we would go do clearings and cleansing and, you know, haunted, you know, or they've done mess with stuff and got themselves some pickles and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Usually it's like when they call it, well, I got stuff bumping around and blah, blah, blah. Well, what did you do? I didn't do nothing. Well, they did something. A lot of times they'd be messing with an Ouija board or um, messing with black magic. Or uh, One time we had somebody that was into drugs and that opened you right up and then was doing black magic on top of that yippee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, is and there, so, is there like when you move, let's say you move to a new apartment or to a new home or even in your regular, is there like a routine that you use to daily cleanse or weekly cleanse or something? Well, when it's needed, I'll smudge and, you know, smudge the, the house and, you know, clear out the energy and then burn a nice smelling candle or incense and it's always Great. nice to do that yeah now when i first uh, move into a place i usually put down uh corn meal and tobacco around the perimeter of the the place you know to thank the native americans and the the earth spirits you know for living there you know and then of course smudge and that's why you clean and paint a house to get the old energies out. Right. Right. Amazing. Yes, it does feel better. When I let things get crapped up, I feel kind of lousy. You know, if I'm too busy outside, I don't do enough in the house. Uh, then I'm, I'm feeling it and I'm feeling it now. I'm like, oh, I got to get to these things that are piled up or bothering me that I keep putting off. You know, um, Kim Smith has a question. She says okay. Super Bowl party. She saw negative spirits and they saw me and stayed away. I think they were attached to a couple on drugs. I told them they couldn't stay and tried to send them away. I think she's talking about the spirits. Yes, they will be attached to people that mm -hmm. do drugs because they're wide open. You did the right thing. Not everybody sees them, but they may feel them or sense them, uh, you know, so if that's the case, is the answer to just tell them to go? Yeah, is send that... them to the light and to the light and white light bubble yourself. And yes, because you don't want them attaching to you. <laughs> right, right. You exactly. do not want them to come home with you. <laughs> right. Uh, Carol is asking a paranormal question regarding dreams. Does it mean anything if someone dreams about a person they have not seen in 50 years? Yes, they're thinking of you too. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Could be a visitation, yeah. maybe. Patient they have not seen. Uh, Nancy Ramsey says, my husband and dog visited me shortly after they passed away. That's yes. lovely. They always do that, yes. Mm -hmm. Um. It's interesting. I still see my cat more than anybody. Uh, my last cat that passed away. I've had so many animals pass. and uh, But this one in particular, this cat is, I feel, hanging around. Yeah, he goes in and out all the time. Yeah, I, I think she just, um, I gave her a home. And I she think she was homeless. You. She loved you. Oh, and okay. So she comes in and out through the veil. Our animals go with us when we pass on. Yeah. I feel I felt bad for her because she was uh she was quite sick to the end. And um did I have to put her to sleep? Uh no, I think she passed here. I don't remember. I've had so many. 
but I felt so bad for her because she was very thin and, you know, she was, she was at the end, you know? Yeah. And I do miss her. I really do miss her, but I feel her walking around like every once in a while at the corner of my eye, I see her. You will. Yeah. And, and more than any of the others. So I'm thinking, uh, um, because she didn't have a home. But that one was a little bit more attached. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think she had never had a real home and I gave her home. Right. That, uh, you know, I, tr I drove two days down here with my sister in a van with three cats and crates and a dog. <laughs> and uh, we were dragging them into the hotel at, at night in the, in the crates. She was the only animal who didn't give me a problem. She was so well behaved. It was unbelievable. She was just really, really good. Just sat in her little crate and she was happy to go anywhere, you know, with you. So, Aww. um, and she was the last one in the car. I just scooped her up because she was outside most of the time. So I just scooped her up and threw her in a crate. And I'm like, come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> she was so happy to go, you know, so funny. So let me see if I have any other questions. The she other was, thing I wanted to ask about um, people, another thing that you can probably learn, like antiquing or thrifting or picking stuff up that had a prior owner, is that a good way to learn? Like, do you want to feel the object and see like psychometry do you want to see what you're bringing into your house do you suggest staging it i i would suggest you know feeling it and also because sometimes antiques have attachments i would smudge it would that get would that eliminate a an attachment yeah it would help yeah okay and um what what do people think about their belongings or their homes being renovated, people in spirit. Most of them, I would think, would be happy. I don't know. Uh, so they want to see what you're doing. Some aren't too happy. You have to let them know that you're going to do something if you got a ghost. Because they're like, oh. okay, what you doing? Oh, curiosity. Why are you fixing that? You know? Mm -hmm. And it riles them up sometimes. Like, say, people buy historic buildings and stuff, and it riles everybody up. You have to let them know what you're doing. Yeah. I would think. Um, and then if they get too rowdy, you say, look, either we're going to cohabitate or you got to go too light and through light. You know? Yeah, but most, time, most of the time, they love it so much they want to cohabitate and live there too. Oh, okay. They want to check in or they want to stay around. Right. Right. Uh, Melissa Parks is joining us tonight. Melissa, do you have a question for Kelly Joe? We'd be happy to answer that question for you. We were pulling cards from the Oracle deck tonight and uh, for our super sticker. So if you have a paranormal question or a regular question you'd like to ask Kelly Joe, please put it in the comments. Anybody else who is joining us uh, right now? Sometimes we get some latecomers. That's okay. Uh, you are welcome. Let me ask you this. If, uh, Kelly Joe, if people, as I mentioned, like a natural disaster, if, if those people, I'm, I feel like you might have had people from 9 11 from that disaster. Do those people hang around at all or are they long gone into heaven? Whenever there's like a natural disaster, I believe that. That group decided to go all at once and they go they don't linger so they don't hang around they just nope. okay so something like 9 11 which was a man-made disaster they agreed to do that is your perspective they agreed to go together because there's like what i call soul packs okay okay that's interesting so like a soul group right you know, which doesn't have to be family, could be right it, as a group. Okay. And do they agree to do that to teach us a lesson? Are we to take lessons from this kind of stuff? Yeah. You know, they agree to do that to teach forgiveness, to teach letting go, 
you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a hard, um, I'm glad I didn't check that box, you know. You know, some people get upset that I say that, but, you know, I I just believe that, you know. Yeah. I mean, well, that's, uh, you're not the only one. A lot of people believe uh, or feel, and I guess there is evidence that they have uh, read about or talked about or have a feeling about or have talked to spirit about you know, maybe we made a contract, you know, there is that uh, perspective. And sometimes though, with objects of trauma, everything happens so quick that things get trapped in things, you know, like the metal that they, you know, I wouldn't be surprised that some of the metal has trapped energy to it. You know, the girders and all that stuff sometimes. Well, that would make sense because uh, when you're learning psychometry, it's recommended to start with metal objects, which right. psychometry is the art of reading an object, mostly metal like coins or jewelry or watch, stuff right. like that, because that really holds it. So I wouldn't be surprised if those beams and metal pieces still hold some no. kind of repercussion there. Right, like whenever there's trauma anywhere, like for instance, battlefields. Yes. I mean, look at people seeing the ghost of that. Yeah. You know, look at the Trail of Tears. People still see Indians marching. Um, they, I don't know what airplane number it is, but just in general, um, there was a crash of a airplane out in the Everglades, and people still see people walking out there. Yes. The trauma of the crash. Mm -hmm. I believe and that. that's that's like a time loop. So it's not actually their spirit, it's their energy. Right. Okay. Or would some people still walk around or if they have some people if they have unfinished business, yes. Okay. Until they get closure, they instant repeat it till they get somebody's attention. Okay. Gotcha. That's you know, right. for instance, like a, a murder or, or um, something that happens quick. Sometimes people don't know they're dead and they have to be told that they're dead. Right, right. You know, That's like, right. for instance, a car accident where somebody dies on the scene. You can still see the image of the person walking or sitting on the curb or whatever, and they don't realize that they passed on. Right. Okay, gotcha. I understand. Uh, we do have a couple of more questions coming in. Okay. Uh, Goldilocks Productions, Reverend Tiffany said, should we get another dog for our dog, Ty, or does he like being the only furry baby? He would love a love a, a, a little person, another person in the house. Another companion? A furry friend. Okay. There you go. Probably. I see... Um, what I get with that is something, somebody to raise hell with is kind of what I get. I don't know who's saying that to me, but they'll raise some hell. And I see like a, a dog bowl, ball, like rolling, like playing with each other and rolling through the house. So I think they would have a great time. Move the furniture <laughs> out of the way. Yeah, she said, thank you, lady. So true, raise hell. Uh, Linnell is joining us tonight. And I also have a question from Kavita. She's back. She had to step away. She said she had a friend who died in the second building during 9-11. Do you pick up anything from her? Her name was Kim. She said I didn't suffer. Oh, good. It's amazing. Um, the messages that come from those people that passed in that uh, tragedy. It seems that um, a lot of them, I feel, uh, I've had a couple of readings about that, and I feel like they come more in comfort for those here. They're more concerned about not their own passing, but the people that they left behind. Because it was such a shock. Behind, yes. Yeah. Such a shock to everyone. Right. Um, Linnell is here. Linnell, if you have a question for Kelly Joe, you can put it in the comments if anybody else has a question. 
please feel free. Uh, Tiffany says, um, that is so true, raising hell. Yep. And Kavita says, uh, that's good to hear she had called her husband to tell him she was okay. And then the second plane struck. So that is devastating here. He thought she was okay. And that happened. So thank you so much, Kavita, for that question. There's a very good question. As they all are. Thank you so much. If uh, tell people how when they are calling for a reading, explain how your reading works because you're a little, you do readings a little different. Yeah, what I do when you call, I tell you, you can't be driving a car. If you're in a car, pull over. Um, and you need a tablet because I'm going to give you pages and pages of notes. And my readings go as long as the energy runs. People don't understand that, but I give you pages and pages and pages and pages. And then when it stops, it stops. I don't ask you anything. I don't want to know anything. What I do is I do the reading and then I ask if you have questions afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, Linnell is asking, any advice on releasing good enough blocks? Good enough block. I don't know what that means. Any advice in releasing? I think she means blocks. You mean like, life. like mental blocks or physical blocks? Maybe energy blocks. Maybe she's talking about energy. Get out of your own way and allow. And don't overthink stuff. Okay. You don't need to analyze everything. Right. Why are you assuming, uh, Linnell, that you have a block? Yeah. Uh, being good enough. I Maybe she, I'm, I'm wondering. And Sam Sam has a similar question. He's asking, how do I release stuck energy? I think that's what they're both talking about. Oh. Well, I don't believe in taking forever and, and getting rid of something. And you, what you could do is you can say a quick little prayer or something. Just say, I release this da -da -da, past, present, and future. Amen. Thank you. Boom. That way you cover the whole gamut. Past, present, and future. And I now move forward. I am, I will, I can. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, with myself, I've noticed, um, I was just asked, praying about this and asking about it. Um, sometimes we want to hold on to that, what we need to get rid of, because it's uncomfortable to right. ask for it to be taken away. And sometimes it feels like a Band-Aid being ripped off. Right. Um, if we're holding on too tight. So... I think that, you know, I don't want to impose my spirituality on anybody, but that's what I do. I ask for the strength to have it released. Right. I don't do it often because I don't like to release things. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> All right. So, but when I'm really deadly serious about it, I'll be like, you know what? I am my own worst enemy. I can't let go of this stuff or I, you know, give me the strength to do that. What would you do, Kelly Joe, if you're having things in the way? Well, I, I, like you said, I asked to have it be removed and I asked the strength to go forward, like you said, you know, and it's like, you know, I'm going to get through this and I'm going to, it's going to be all right. You can do your, your positive self-talk. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I learned uh, recently was um, even if it's just a small step in the direction of doing something like if it's getting another job or getting a relationship or moving or even if it's one small step a day it's a step right you know so don't beat yourself up because you are not there yet it's okay it may right. take time i have a saying be nice to yourself you live in there oh great that's great <laughs> thank you for sharing that that's terrific uh linnell is saying uh, cause it's taking a long time to complete something. 
She's having trouble completing something. Well, every day, chunk out a piece of time dedicated to that. Even if it's five minutes. True. That, that'll add up. Mm -hmm. Does that help her? I think so. I'm a procrastinator, you know, so... And a perfectionist. So those are the worst combination of things to be. So if I can't do it perfect, I won't do it. I've had to adjust like, you're not going to get the whole room done today or you're not going to get this whole garden dug up today. So do what you can do, you know, and be okay with that. You know, we don't have to do everything at once. Does right. that make sense? You're right. Take Small little strides. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, Sam Seb says she is in the same, he is in the same boat as Linnell. And uh, it's taking a while. Uh, you know, the reason some people don't heal, I'll ask you this as well, because you're a natural healer. They want to hang on to that because that's who they are. And because they're getting something out of it. You know, and sometimes you'll learn that you don't need it anymore. But it hurts to let go of something that's all you've known. Right. So and I it think. It becomes part of your identity. Right. So it like, what was that saying? It takes nine days to make a habit, 90 days to break one. Oh, I hadn't heard that. Interesting. So another thing is. You guys every day write a, the grateful list and write down your accomplishments on the things you're stuck on every day and do it for 90 days and that'll help you change your perspective on it. And then Great look, advice. Back, look back and say you've accomplished it. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that um, I've heard and I've learned if we're waffling about a decision and we can't, we don't have the guts to make the decision, be careful because something else could make the decision for you or, right. the, or the choice will be taken away. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. So yep. we, procra I would procrastinate making a decision about something and, and then the, the window closes, you know, and universe will do it for you. Right. Exactly. And exactly. it might not be how you wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> right. It may not be what you want. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Linnell says, yes, a list helps. That's true. And, um, you know, we're fighting uh, Samir or Sam Sam. I had remembered what Kelly Joe had said to you. There is an opportunity where there might be a move for, you know, a career or a business change. And um, if we're holding on and we're saying, no, 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 that's not going to happen. We're not going to be open to what's happening. Sometimes we're given a gift like that to change, to make a change. And it's, it feels like you're being dragged through a hedge backwards. You know what I mean? Well, that's and why it, they say Carpe Diem sees the day. Yeah. 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 And sees the opportunity that's presented to you, you know? And, uh, you know, if you're like me and you're wallowing, oh, nothing ever changes, nothing, and this doesn't happen, blah, blah, blah. And then when it does happen, you're kind of shocked. <laughs> you <know? laughs> you're like, oh, my God, now i got to make a decision. Like, whoa. Well. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Sarah, for joining us tonight. Do you have a question for Kelly Joe Psychic? Uh, I can take one question from you if you have anything. We're talking about love, romance, um, which you have those, business, dollars, uh, future, paranormal questions, anything like that. So if you have something before we close tonight, please jump on here. Um, and everyone is saying thank you so much. Sam is saying, oh, cool, Kelly Joe, thank you for You're the welcome. advice. Oh, for every negative thought, put a positive spin on the negative thing. Change it to a positive. Mm -hmm. in, other, in like in other words be grateful for the little things you know it may be a shit day but maybe the sun came out you know right you know uh, you don't always be on the negative bent or right. negative about yourself right. I can't means I won't right 
Very good. Thank you for that, Kelly Joe. I appreciate uh, your wisdom, sharing your wisdom with us tonight. Uh, Robert says, Kelly Joe, is my mom around me? Yes. And the month of October is around her. <coughs> she may be caught. What happened to her lungs? Yeah. Oh, here's, here's a good question for you. Speaking about Robert, I always try to jam this Scottish heritage down his throat. Why am I doing that? Because I he has, he has Scotch in his history. If he doesn't say thank you, dot com, he has Scottish. Thank you. Thank you. He's not aware of it, but he might do his DNA test. So, yeah. Because I, and I keep getting, I, you know, maybe it's his mother talking to me. You know, and she's been around you a lot. And she likes to hang out in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then she also hangs out on the right hand side of the living room. I don't know what's over there that she would be drawn to. Linnell says, shift your filter. That's good advice, too, Linnell. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, and Elizabeth is sharing with us. Great show. And thank you for my reading. Love the positivity. You're absolutely welcome. Uh, don't forget to book your reading with Kelly Jo Psychic. And uh, she has given her number and her website is here, kellyjopsychic.com. Lovely reading. Uh, you certainly get your money's worth. Oh, and Robert is saying, my mom had cancer, a lung collapsed. Oh, okay. That's why she was making it. That may be why she's, yeah. you know, choking. Yeah. You know what I always, uh, sometimes I get, um, it's a uh, super space cookie is Sarah. And she said, I don't have any questions. I just wanted to share in this amazing space. Thank you very much. Sometimes I get uh, the smell of uh, sage burning or I want to say tumbleweed burning. Is That's that? Your guides. That's my guides. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's my thing. And I appreciate that. Um, what's the other thing? Why um, you're saying tobacco and cornmeal are gifts to those spirit guides or spirits around us, correct? Gifts to the Native American Indians if they were on the land. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Don't forget that not only is uh, our spirits passing through your home, but they could be attached to that property. Correct. Correct. So land uh, so you may get it. Go ahead, Kelly Joe. People have land ghosts. Land ghosts. Yeah. Land ghosts. Exactly. Well, that hour went very quickly. We got a lot of information uh, picking Kelly Joe's brain. And Kelly Joe, I really appreciate you being with us. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you. And uh, we really appreciate it. And a lot of love to everyone this month. Enjoy. And uh, if you learned something, you know, send some feedback to Kelly Joe on Kelly Joe Psychic. She would be, I'm sure, glad to ha hear from you. And uh, <clears throat> you're posting on Facebook often, right? Yeah. And uh, another thing I've noticed Kelly Joe does is she'll throw something out that she's getting a precognition or a prediction. She'll throw that right out there. Just one word, quake. <laughs> I love that. Yep. When you're <laughs> <clears throat> I really appreciate that. That is really fun. So follow her on Facebook as well. Thank you for having me and you have a good night. Thank you so much. Good night, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you, Kelly Joe. Good night now. <laughs>